Welcome back to Wooded Lake Adventures. Today we are at the Wooded Lake property and we're down in the, the tent sites we set up. I'm going to do a quick review of a new cot we got. Um, you know, camping cot. It's probably not as light as, you know, a backpacking cot, but it, it does hold up fairly small. We'll show you what we got going on. This is the Extremis Mission camping cot. And it comes with three legs that go underneath. I'll show you when we take it apart how those are done. So there's these three legs that are supports. And there's a bar on each side. You can see where my hand is. There's a sleeve that fits that bar. And the one we got actually comes with two tops. There's a mesh top, um, which is nice in the summer. And a solid top, which looks like it has some you know, little heat reflector insulation in there so I'm not sure how that works in the winter we obviously haven't tried it in the winter but um, after sleeping up the last two nights it was really comfortable so I would definitely recommend it um, the one thing I noticed was the bag is a little hard to get everything back into um, just because of the angle the legs are so we have everything taken apart here and packed up the way this works there is a little note on the side, it says, press down before releasing. So you basically push this in this way and then squeeze these two metal. And then the clamp opens up and you can pretty easily just pop it right off. So once it's off, you can see the leg here, it's like a standard, you know, tent pole, whatever, it has an elastic strap in it. But what I found was these L-shaped pieces were a little cumbersome in the bag. So I'm going to get the other ones popped off. Next step is the side supports. You see the little finger tab here you can pull on and just work this to the side. Fold this up as we go so we have a little more space. And just pull folds relatively small. Do the same thing on the other side here. mesh fabric. Hold it up so it's ready to get rolled and put in the bag. sure how it should get put in the bag but you can see the bag it looks like these you know, will fit in it just gets a little awkward once they're in there trying to get the fabric and the poles in there around where they are so we rolled up our Two different fabrics and all the holes inside that and it definitely you know it fits in the bag but it's just a little awkward the way everything fits you can see at the bottom here um i'm actually thinking i might put the holes separately and, uh, maybe i'll put the fabric and holes separate Let's see if things fit a little better that way. Yeah. 
tuck it around his uh, you know, like hockey stick shaped holes there. And it all fits back in the bag. It's just a little cumbersome the way it goes in there. That's good enough for now. It's definitely not perfect, but you can see we've got our everything in the bag. The poles are sticking out a little. I didn't feel like fiddling with the fabric to make more space. So overall, I would say decent product. It's not you know as light as a backpacking cot would be, but definitely serves the purpose for car camping. You know, is what we're doing. So overall, I'd give it a good rating. But that'll end today's video. As always, please give our video a like, please share it with your friends, please subscribe to our channel so you know when we post new videos, and leave us a comment. Thank you.